Alrighty guys, so in today's video, we got like a little 10 minute ride along. Go ahead, watch the whole thing for me. Don't skip none of them ads. You know I need all that money. And we got some special guests in today's video. So first special guest, we got Mimi. Hey Mimi. Say hi. Hi. Gigi, say hi. Hi. That's what's up. Look, do me a favor. Hit that like button and that subscribe button. And watch this video all the way to the end. You see I got all these kids to take care of. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say hi. Hi. You gonna have a good day today? Yeah. Next up, we got $3.25 for 11 miles. Man, stop playing with me. What? Bruh, stop it. Get some help. So today, we starting off our adventure all the way out in Highland, Illinois. Now, this Walmart is inside my zone, but it's literally on the edge of my zone. I had to try something different today. They had a little incentive over the last few days. At first it started out at 20, $20 per order coming out of this Walmart. Then it went down to $7 and now it didn't dip down to $5 for every single order coming out of this Walmart. Now, I wasn't in a position where I could come out here earlier, but now that I made some money on these other apps, I'm jamming at this Walmart today. I think they bringing out my order right now too. Man, that order was ready to go. They brung it right out. They said they don't even be having drivers out at this store. The uh, associate actually told me that they usually every single morning have four or five GM orders ready to go. And sometimes it be drivers there for them. Sometimes it don't. Sometimes they have to request the drivers from other locations. So I've been wondering why I've been seeing these brand new orders, these offers on Walmart Spark coming out of this Highland location. Well, now I know why. Because they can request that those offers be sent out further when they sit for too long and they don't have no drivers. So I said, hey, it's not a long drive down the highway for me. If the money's good and they give me some- Well, I came back to this Walmart thinking I was gonna get maybe like a shopping order before the next round of round robins drop. They drop on the 45 minute uh, mark of the hour over here. But the thing is, they just hit me with $19 for 10 miles over at Sam's Club. Now, I would love to get two orders back to back right here with this little incentive going on, but that's if they come back to back. This next order they sent me is a round robin. It was a Sam's Club offer, and a lot of times when I get a Sam's Club as a round robin, it's not great. Miles to money ratio be backwards, be really low paying, and you can't, you know, you can't gamble and hope that you get a tip afterwards. But this is a time where they send me one that's got good miles to money ratio, almost two to one. Yes, it's going 10 miles away, but the thing is, I stack whenever I go 10 miles away. So, I'm, I took that order, they sent it to me with a timer, so that means that it's a round robin order. Meaning, if I decline that one, it's gonna make my acceptance rate go down. And I like to be very selective when it comes to which round robin offers I decline on Walmart Spark, because those are the only ones that accept your ratings. If you accept the ASAP offer, or you decline an ASAP offer, it don't affect your ratings at all. But the ones with the timer on there, those do affect your rating. So, with that being said, you know, I made 20 bucks on that trip. I don't mind heading back over to Sam's Club and getting my next order. And it says it wasn't gonna be ready for 30 more minutes and I got a 15, nope, 18 minute drive back to Sam's Club. Might as well go ahead. All right, so the time is 8.53. I need to make $100 before noon. We already got, what we got? I forgot already. We already got $15 on that first Walmart Spark order, plus the extra five for the incentive just to go into that store. We got a $19 Sam's Club order. That one will be ready in seven minutes. And I'm about to pick up this McDonald's order too. That should put me almost halfway there. Almost halfway there, about 46, 47 bucks all together with all three of those orders. That's great. It's been one hour. I need like 50 more bucks so I can get into the crib before noon, get me some breakfast, and come back out and make some more money. If you're a real gig worker, you know what I'm talking about. A lot of times we get out there and we hit it hard. You gotta get out there and hustle and make that money. I'm about to go do just that. The cancel this Sam's Club order. They got me messed up. I drove from too far away when I accepted this order, so it should be ready. Now, this is why it's important to multi app. I'm gonna go ahead, turn on DoorDash, and see what they send me because, uh, yeah, I'm not about to just be sitting here not making no money. Now, I'm not finna necessarily drop it right away, but uh, it is a, it's a Walmart down the street. It's a Home Depot right here. It's a Lowe's. So I don't really think it's a good idea for me to hold on to this order seeing that it's going 10 miles away. And it's a lot of other drivers up here. I may be able to get something that's going less miles away. Here come the associate now. I'm finna see what she said. Next up, we got $3.25 for 11 miles. Well, I guess we may as well head on out and do that one. Ha! 
Yeah, right. I just got an order on Uber Eats. $7.47 for one mile at Starbucks. We finna go grab that. I am not taking no, no tip Chick-fil-A order. Here. $49, what'd that say? $49.34 for 14.4 miles at Sam's Club. You know I'm all over that offer right there. I don't, man, I haven't seen an offer like this and I don't know how long. I canceled the other Sam's Club offer, obviously, if I just got that. But look, a $50 order, three to one miles to money ratio, let's get it. I'm over there all day long. So my, I got a little bit of time before that one is even supposed to be ready. Hopefully, they don't have me waiting a super long time. But at least I finally got an order that I don't mind waiting a long time for. Because, man, look at her. $20 her, $10 there. I'll take it, but when you got long wait time, they end up making it not worth it. That one was 19 for 10, and that's two to one. That was a decent offer, but I still had this lingering thought in the back of my head, like, is they going to take forever? And they did, but this order right here, $49, almost a $50 bill going 14 miles. You know I'm all over that. I'll wait as long as I need to for that one because that one is half of my daily goal. Got my $50 Sam's Club order in the back. It took them like 25 minutes to bring that thing out. And I hate waiting 25 minutes at Sam's Club for them to bring them orders out. But for 50 bucks, I had to. And the reason I did is because I knew I was going to multi-app on the way. We got $7.25 for three miles right here at Chipotle. And it's drive through pickup. And I'm here right now. And I'm about to get that. Back to one of my favorite spots right now. This place is called Southwest Grill. DoorDash sent me an add on. I'm gonna throw a screenshot up right here. Plus, plus, let's get it. Sir, pull right into that drive through. I got Nick, Nicholas. They good, I heard. They usually have them ready too. We'll see though. We'll give them a little bit of time. Sometimes these DoorDash videos and ride-alongs can get a little bit repetitive, but the one thing I like to keep in mind is I like I get to see a lot of my area that I would normally not go to, and I like to show you guys my day, and that's pretty much what we do here. And like these folks in here, I got to meet them. I would have never met them if I wasn't doing DoorDash ride-alongs or Walmart Spark or picking up and dropping off food at different places that I don't normally go to. So I like it. We're going to do a little bit of mixing it up, try to make things a little bit more fun over here, but... If you've been along for the ride, I appreciate you watching the videos every single day and engaging with the channel, leaving comments, telling me how stupid I look, telling me how my, my mustache ain't combed right. I appreciate all of that, guys. Make sure you keep it up because all of that engagement drives the channel. This is what you got to realize. It don't matter if it's good engagement or bad engagement. It's better to have one of the two. To where like people, like, like humans or whatever you call them, um, underwater or like shots under. Dropping off this add-on right here. How you doing today, sir? All right. There you go. You got this a little heavy. Mind if I get a quick DoorDash picture real quick? Bruh. Boom. Thank you, sir. You have a good one. Dropped off the first part of this Sam's Club order. Look at this. They got my whole trunk full. Bruh. This half is one customer, and this half is the second customer. Look at all this Halloween candy. Somebody getting prepared for Halloween time. All right, let's get it together. Man, I got lost so many times. I could not find out where I was supposed to go. But I finally found it. This is where I need to go, 816. So I'm going to drop this stuff off right here at this front door. And then we're going to be good to go. All right, so we picked I'm up ready. our Pizza Hut order. This one was $14 for like 20 something miles i don't even remember but i was dropping off that uh sam's club order that was 15 miles away so it actually was calling me back to my area now that i picked it up it's actually only 16 miles away 14 bucks six miles and we finna go ahead head over and drop that off now and i already know i hit the daily go we at the four hour mark so i know i'm over 100 bucks 70 bucks on walmart spark 29 on doordash that's 100 bucks right there. Then I got a $7 Uber order, $7 is some change, and I got a $14 Uber order. So $100 already attained right there easily, and we already head towards our next 100. Let's get it. So I'm going to drop off this pizza. I'm going to go get me some lunch, and then we're going to come back out for the evening shift and make some more money. Look, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, do me a favor. Let, first and foremost, let me know, is this getting boring? Second of all, hit that like button and the subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one.